Oh, well, now I can continue. The reason why I have to save it before one hour is up is because uh, if I run way after one hour, the fucking thing sometimes like would go unnoticed and then I would miss the okay, miss well, the fucking walk through, miss the recording. I mean, nowhere near as peacefully as now. This is a big improvement. I kind of figured that much. We are doing much better this time. That much is true. The reason why I sometimes uh, my voice is very low is because uh, my girlfriend's mother is uh, sleeping outside. So if my voice is too fucking like high, it could like very condemn. I'm sure our reports will reflect that. It is an improvement, though I'm not convinced it's good enough. It... it's not? I'm certain Group B gave their absolute best in all of their tasks today, but can we honestly say the same? That we could have done no better? And I'm referring not just to the monster encounter, but to the handling of our other tasks as well. Hmm. We'll just have to try and make up for it in the day we have left. Besides, we have the chance to catch sight of a far bigger problem. Yes, that's true. First we find out taxes are rising throughout the province. Then we find out the military is being expanded on a grand scale. Don't even try to tell me the two aren't related. I have no intention of denying it. But you're only looking at one side of the coin. Exactly how many Oxen tanks do you think the Imperial Army has under their control? Well... A hundred or two, I'd guess. Precisely. The Imperial Army's military capabilities are enormous. This nation has one of the most powerful armed forces on the continent, and roughly 70% of it is under the Chancellor's control. Tell me, how is the Noble Alliance supposed to counter that? So, you're suggesting that's why the Provincial Army needs to bolster its forces? Considering both sides are comprised of Erebonians, it all seems so wasteful. Ah, oh, the travails of youth! How noble and beautiful they are! It's you. Baron Blue Blanc, I believe. Ha <laughs> ha! It's such an honor that you would remember a mere Baron. I see you completed a hard day's work already. How splendid! What's the deal with this one? You see, there's some kind of uh, fucking pedophile or something like that. Yes. Uh, why the fuck are they He's here, like, constantly chasing around kids? What about you? Alas! I have yet to be blessed with the fateful encounter I seek. The search for beauty is filled with perils and obstacles, yet that is precisely what makes it all so beautiful. Yeah, he just wants to like stick it to any holes that he thinks is beautiful. Well, I hope you enjoy the rest of your stay. Just comes, of course, that way. I most certainly will. Though it truly is a pity that the clear air of this verdant city should be tinged, if but faintly, with. <laughs> I just hand this uh, fucking cocksucker to the. Uh, uh, to dumb. Uh, to, to him. I mean, to the man. Uh. We don't have time for any further bullshit. was a man of many interests, but I was unaware he counted playing with fire among them. I don't condemn Oh, fire you would be a, a petty quantum thing to play with, to be honest. Fireworks? You can, I accidentally set the buildings on would fire. Would you not agree, my friends? I don't like your implications. I... Sometimes it is necessary if the buildings are infected with like fucking uh, spiders or other fucking cocksuckers in it. And I think this whole line of conversation is a little inappropriate. Oh, please do pardon me, young lady. I meant no harm, I assure you. I wish you well on your remaining day here. May you reveal to me the beauty I seek by its end, be it the lovely luster of success. Or the sad splendor of failure. This one nice to <sighs> make he, he 
This is why I can't stand nobles. <laughs> That's they so fucking that he's why in this one. They're so fucking strings most of the fucking tie like. <laughs> I thought you might say that. If it makes you feel better though, I have my doubts as to whether that man truly is a noble to begin with. His behavior seems so exaggerated, almost as if he's trying to act like the quintessential noble, like he's fulfilling the stereotype. Yeah, something about him feels off to me, too. <laughs> but what's even stranger is that he knew we only have one day left here. It, you're right. We told him of our field study, but never once did we divulge how long we intended to remain here. Between him and that silver object, we've been crossing paths with a lot of strange people today. Well, tomorrow's the end of our stint here. But that is not um a person. The object is a fucking. We can't let ourselves get distracted. We still have a lot to do. That's right. The we have to that do is. our group proud. <laughs> exactly. We should return to the hotel and begin work on our reports then. He, he's opened his eye properly and be seeing the something he usually takes by the mouth at this hour of the light, like literally like taking in the the, 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 the entire thing in that fucking very deep the fuck. Now he's going to Im properly improve in the data parks of the game but so far in this part I'm referring specifically to this part of the game. Like. <sighs> Can't get to sleep. I could ask you the Don't same. I talk with him. What the fuck? <laughs> you aren't going to tell me the bed's too hard for you, are you? <laughs> I wouldn't dream of it. He's dead. I some kind of duck bowl. I mean, I've never thing. slept in a bed this high class in my life. Not even. And yet you're the son of Baron Schwarzer. You've not lived the life one might expect of a boy from a noble family. Yeah, that's just how my dad is. A lord should live like his people, not above them. That's how he always put it. I see. It sounds as though you have a good family. Yeah, I'm very thankful for my upbringing. Aren't you going to ask? Ask what? What? Uh, no. <laughs> I'm... What? What the fuck? <laughs> I assumed you'd be curious about that brief exchange with my father earlier. Oh damn! Okay. <laughs> this is giving me fucking heart attack. The fucking cock sucker. <laughs> fucking sucking cock like all fucking day. And he asks, "I'm going to fucking ask for, of course, not like <laughs> what the fucking sucker? Little the fucking." Taking it in the fucking ass like constantly, this fucking cocksuck. I wasn't really sure you'd want me to bring that up. You obviously get along really well with your brother, but I didn't get that same sense with the Duke. Has he always been like that? As far back as I can remember. I suppose he just has little respect for a son born to a commoner. What? To, oh, so his mother is a commoner then. My brother and I have different mothers. He was born of my father's legal wife, a noble who still lives to this day. My own mother, however, was a commoner, and she passed away eight years ago. In other words, I am his bastard son. I had no idea. So he's also half common, okay. So was that chef we met earlier? He's my uncle, on my mother's side. Perhaps that's why he's always been so good to me. Or perhaps he's simply compelled to treat me as I deserve to be treated, being the son of the Duke. He could also be some kind of a uh, fucking creepy petophy who wants to stick it in. Uh, yeah. oh, what I mean, uh, that can't uh, be. Probably already did in, in the foot. Uh, yeah. It's fucking disgusting. I swallow everything. It's fucking 
I don't blame you for being a little cynical, but there's no need to be quite so hard on yourself. It is not up to him, Nai, to be hard, Nai. If it is hard, then it is hard. I suppose you're right. I'm... I'm sure you have your differences, but you do get along with your brother, right? Uh... Hmm. You could say that. No combat. <laughs> He's treated me well ever since I was taken in eight years ago. He was the one who taught me my swordsmanship. And who trained me in the ways of court etiquette. Uh, seems like they are pretty fucking close, like, literally, like, close uh, on same bed. <laughs> I knew it. They're fucking disgusting, man. Super Havam. Pardon? There's just something honest, I guess you could say, about the way you fight. It shows that whoever taught you was someone you really trusted. When we first met him this afternoon, I had a hunch he might have been the one. What's wrong? <laughs> Nothing at all. You just <laughs> keep reminding me how unlike a noble you truly are. <laughs> I get that a lot. Is your injury from this afternoon on the mend? It's fine, honestly. There's no pain, and the wounds closed up like it was never there. I'll have to be sure to thank Emma's grandmother for her help someday. That's good to hear. Still, from where I stand, you are something of a danger to yourself. I... Am? On the day of the entrance ceremony, when the trap door opened beneath us, you acted instantly to protect Elisa. It wasn't even a moment's hesitation. Ah. In most cases, one would reflexively act to protect himself. It's part of man's natural survival instinct. Well, it's just like hot, hot so like he signed the fucking waff it up, waff her up. I I don't know why I said it like. What the fuck? It's just not uh, like exactly like a piece of meat. I mean, what the fuck? It's <clears throat> just much more uh, piercing to the eye. Yet you put another before yourself, not even pausing to question the validity of that decision. And you did exactly the same thing with us today. And that's why he's the main character. I'm sure most people would see that as an act of selflessness and sing your praises for it. But to me, it comes across as abnormal, perhaps even twisted. This could be could make sense, like, but what the fuck, like? <laughs> I uh, don't know how to respond to that. I wasn't expecting you to see through me quite so clearly. Well. I owed you as much for having seen through me first. The fuck? What what the see me now? Still, the point stands. You need to be more cognizant of the effects your actions have on those around you. If not for your health and for your reputation. That selflessness of yours can just as easily be perceived as arrogance after all. What the fuck? I can't believe he's the one that says this shit now. What the fuck shit now? Literally, I no. know it can. What the fuck? You're not the first person to tell me that. It is time to shut the fuck up What's now the and point sleep. In saving others if you can't spare even a moment to save yourself? That's what my old master always used to say to me. Was it now? <laughs> <laughs> I suppose we both have some things we need to work through. Disgusting. Got it? Yeah. But for now, we need to get a good night's sleep. I wonder why he's keep like talking to Wing for no reason. It's at fucking night at like 3 a.m. Just keep if going talking. If we stay up too late tonight, tonight, we're going to be dead to the world tomorrow, and that wouldn't be fair to the others. I think he wants to. to, to, to <laughs> I agree. It wouldn't be fair to the girls, at least. I'd hate to be so tired as to limit my potential. Here, here. Good night, Yusus. Pleasant dreams. What's the what's the point of this scene? What the f Oh oh. Oh my god, this is not gonna be good. Keep up the good work.
Oh my god, this is another fucking monster suit. The blue one, I'm not even going to fucking beat it. It just doesn't matter. There is a lot of fun. Just take, yeah, take care of it. Just take care of it. It's just one test. That sounds easy enough. But there are probably other bullshit that happens, such as the last time we went, went to Cal to get this five from the foot stand and whatnot. It's the same structure. Before the game tries to do end, I think I already know what it is trying to do. Eustace Alberea. What is it, Machias Regnitz? I will Why? accept no more Are failures. They them that they trust by the lair. Today, we will form a combat link. What? Uh, that is, doesn't seem the ha ha la. Oh, the as in combat. As much as I may dislike you, I'm ashamed that we were unable to do what every other member of our class has accomplished. Today's monster extermination request seems as good a chance as any to make up for yesterday's failure. What did you say? You really are simple-minded, aren't you? <laughs> he call he's calling him the same thing that I. Well, <laughs> like it's kind of it's easy to see, right? But like, but at the same time, the simple mind is still better than like. Uh, sucking the corks, right? Like, what the fuck? One is literally like just a like, uh, personality part of a personality, basically. Like, the other one is uh, more like could be something that's like more like disturbed. Like, like what the fuck? I'm not going to I go suppose to you it. overheard our conversation last night and feel some kind of affinity toward me now. What? That can be one. Right? If like, if that is true, then the, they would not be fun to watch anymore because like, the, the, what the fuck? The nonsense! I did no such thing. I was fast asleep while you yammered on about your family and Reen and. Uh. <laughs> Machias. <laughs> That's pretty conclusive. <sighs> Very well. I accept. I'll be happy to show you what a proper combat link looks like. <laughs> we'll see about that. Fortunately, I have more than enough generosity of spirit to endure being paired with an arrogant noble like you. Well, as long as she's the one I just behind... I'll just forget what I just said. <laughs> Not the like, fucking. <laughs> Maybe today's field study will go more smoothly than yesterday's after all. Lord Eusus. Arno? What brings you here? I would have expected you to be at my father's side. I'm terribly sorry I could not greet you upon your arrival yesterday. However, I have come today in the capacity of an escort. An escort? To where? I'm sure you must be aware that I returned to Bereahard purely as part of a field study for my academy work. But of course, however, His Grace has directly requested that I escort you to the mansion. So I would be most appreciative if you'd accompany me without delay. Mm, what's this about? Father? He showed no signs of desiring my company when we spoke yesterday. I am in no position to question or oppose his orders, merely to obey them. I'm sure you understand. Though while I hesitate to speculate, I do wonder if His Grace may feel some regret regarding his demeanor yesterday. I... but... Go with him. We can attempt to form a combat link another time. Yeah, yeah that can be like... We'll, we'll be able to handle just the take care of just fine important things Don't worry about us. Huh. You've come all the way back to your hometown. It would be a shame not to visit with your family, right? Agreed. Uh, are you certain? Very well. I'll return this afternoon. And though I will worry as to how you'll fare without me, I know you'll at least give it your best, for what that's worth. 
Oh my god, that just, just watch this fuckers, the pussy mouth just yapping about is just fucking annoying as fuck, man. <laughs> of course we will. All right, let's meet back in the hotel lobby around noon. If something comes up, just leave a message at the front desk. Understood. Lead the way, Arno. Gladly, sir. Please excuse us. Well, let's get started. We wouldn't want to give Yusus any further reason to worry, now would we? Huh, certainly not. Still... What? What is it? If you have something to say, just say it. <laughs> oh, it's nothing. Nothing at all. She's probably thinking, the worst is over, and it's all thanks to your eavesdropping. Good boy. Just stop that! Just stop looking at me like I'm some hapless babe! Rain, you do know I still haven't completely forgiven you for lying, don't you? Are you still hung up on that? And Emma, I hope you're ready to score second on our midterms because I'm not about to lose to you again. But don't even think about giving those exams any less than your very best. I intend to best you when you're in top form. Yeah, you will? And as for you, Fee, I've been wanting to say this for a long time now. <laughs> Sleeping in class is an affront to our education. You need to start treating classes more seriously. Listen, take proper notes. Raise your hand now and then. And stop covering your ears when I'm talking to you. I can't hear you. <laughs> anyway, we've got a lot to do, so how about we get to it? <laughs> right. Uh oh, temporarily left the party. It's a big deal, man. What the fuck, man? Why would? Let's save this for tomorrow. I'm not fucking like, racing bot night. Like, I already paid the same bean this for this game today. Should be where this chocolate should end very soon. Uh. Once it ends then uh, chocolate fee will start and then according right. to some the view story will begin at the end of chocolate fee. 